Hello and welcome to another video. Let me ask you guys, what time is it where you are at? Because I can tell you, I just ate dinner and you know what comes after dinner. It is dessert. It is time for a sweet and a treat. And that is what we are doing today. I'm getting right in it. You know why? Because we are opening the Lit Joy Magical Subscription Box with the theme, Sweets and Treats. I'm so excited. I gotta say, okay, I haven't even shown you the box yet, but it's it's as if I have already eaten sweets right now because I'm so excited. I don't like delaying opening these things and opening them the next day. And this came in while I was at my muggle job and I came home and there it was. And it is glorious looking. It might be my favorite box so far. I love their designs. So let's get right into it. Here's the top of the box. Magical subscription box, lit joy, baby. And then we got some Weasley twins right here. Here, let's get my eyeballs out of the way. The Weasley twins. Look at this. Okay, let me show you up close. I'm really digging this. Can we get can we get in there? Yes. Yes. Look at these boys. So we've got the every flavor beans. And if you notice, um, we've got some cauldron cakes, we've got some chocolate frogs, we got a lollipop. I mean, you gotta have lollipops. Um, but Birdie Bots are really your beans. And if you notice, the beans are in house colors. I really dig that. Um, because, you know, there's, they're a mix of colors. But in this shot here, they are in all four house colors. Then we have the side here, we've got some uh, pumpkins. Pumpkin representation can be multiple things. Every flavor beans, cauldron cakes. I really dig these um, jar businesses right here. Then we've got kind of similar thing. I will say there's like repetition, but I just really like it anyway. It's so fun. <laughs> Candy is fun, okay? <laughs> and we get Dumbledore himself over here. And of course the sherbet lemons, which we also, oh my God. We also have the sherbet lemons over here. We have a chocolate frog. I did remove my label, so let me show you that. They do always leave that kind of basic, so it's not covering up. Um, the label's not covering up too much, but I do really like it. Something just plopped, sorry. Okay, so I will say about this box, I, I always have to comment on the weight. I don't know why, as if weight is like, the barometer for quality. I mean, to a degree, kind of, like, because plastic is lighter weight than, you know, a lot more quality made materials. So I think in that way, that's why I, I sort of associate weight with, I mean, higher quality. I don't know. It's sweets and treats, baby. Okay. I'm ready to get into this. But what am I thinking here? So here's what I'm thinking. Obviously, it's, you know, treat, treat oriented. Um, I'm expecting obvious things. I'm expecting like every flavor beans representation. I'm thinking, okay, we have, here's what I'm wondering is, do we go beyond shops like Honey Dukes and um, Sugar Plum's Sweet Shop? Um, I mean, there is like, you know, pumpkin juice and pumpkin fizz, but there, there are other treats and, and foodie things. But they are mostly, you know, they are mostly in those shops. Um, do we go beyond that? Uh, I was talking to my husband and we were thinking about maybe there's some Neville a lollipop representation, maybe a pin. I don't know. Like stuff wise, I was also thinking food oriented. Maybe there is some sort of dinnerware. Like I know Honey Dukes in Universal recently, or at least a few months ago, came out with a dinnerware line, bowls, plates, that sort of thing. So I'm thinking like, could we get some of that? Or like a mug, like something that you would eat food out of, but themed. Like that's what I'm thinking. Okay. So we've got the Weasley twins. Oh, and let's like pop it open. I think I did take a quick look see poo in here. What have we got? So I will say I was I was hoping for like Neville under here. Oh God, we don't want to see. And it seems like we have just like generic witches, which I mean, eh. I would have rather had Neville and his lollipop just floating away because Harry is a turd and took his lollipop. Uh, but we do have Honey Dukes kind of represented under the. So without further ado, uh, because I need myself a dessert. <laughs> Let's get into this sucker. Okay, the smell coming out of this right now. 
I dig that. I dig that. Okay. I was curious if there's going to be food items in here. I don't know. Um, but what? <laughs> Having a smell come out of here, out of a sweets and treats, like, oh, it's already getting me like in the mood. Love it. I can't figure out, like, it smells like popcorn. Give me a moment, please, while I shove my nose. It smells like popcorn. What? Okay, I'm pulling off the first item, which is a paper product. I don't know if it's the cheat sheet. I feel like it's the cheat sheet, so I'm gonna set it aside. Yeah, we're setting it aside. Oh, wow, we are seeing stuff from the get-go. Okay, oh God, which one are going? I'm seeing a tin. I'm gonna pull this tin out. And what is it? Oh, I see what we're doing here. We have an every flavor jelly bean tin. Here is the front. So what it looks like they're doing here, can we please focus on the tin? Thank you. I was gonna say, we finally got the focus down. It was getting all wonky, um, but we got her. We got her real good. Look at that. So they set it up so that we can fill it up ourselves. Let me open this puppy up. Does it pop open? Love that sound. Yes, please. We got a little tassely business, um, which, you know, always reminds me of like a wizard hat with the tassel. And then um, every flavor beans on the other side. And then we've got the flavors. So chocolate, peppermint, spinach, marmalade, grass, uh, vomit, toast, overcooked cabbage. Ew, ew. So there's the back of that. So we have ourselves a little tin for some jelly beans. I kind of dig that. And obviously their own take for it. I mean, I don't think it's an ornament. I think this is just like decor. I do love it. <laughs> okay, so there is item number one. So what is next? I am seeing a chocolate froggy thing. Is it what I think it is? I mean, I think it's a purse. So let me show you the front, like a little clutch. So here's the front. And we do have an opening here, which leads me to think, first of all, I wonder if there's something inside, but it leads me to think that your chocolate frog card, whichever card you want, is intended to go inside and you can change it out. It's like a, a typical um, Percy clutchy <laughs> material. Okay, let's open this up. Oh, I like that. Okay. Oh. I wasn't expecting like a purse. First of all, we have two zippers. Here is the top and then the back is just plain. Look at these little like zipper taggy businesses. We have little chocolate frogs. It's so cute. So is it a clutch then? Because there's no chain to it. So we have this pocket here, pretty deep pocket, does not connect to the front. So you have your chocolate frog separate. And then we have this pocket here. So there's that. I was expecting it to be a little more of a purse. There is a chocolate frog purse um, at Universal for sale um, or the Universal shop online for sale. I think it's still there, um, which has the full thing. It doesn't have an opening. So they did do their own take. Um, I was just talking to my husband about wanting to see more things that haven't really been done, which is, I know, a little challenging for such a large fandom and so much merch out there. <laughs> But I wasn't anticipating a clutch, like, okay, that's different. I just don't know what I would do with it without, it's very noisy, <laughs> without an actual chain. So, but I'm not a clutch person. I don't normally, I normally, if I'm gonna wear a purse, it has like a, a full on handle. So I kind of expected there to be a chain inside. I'm curious for anyone else that opens this, there's also another pocket right in there. So there is that item, item number two, numero two. Okay, we've got, oh, I think I see what the smell is. Okay, I'm gonna go with, I mean, why does this smell like popcorn? It says butter beer on it. So here is the box for the third item. Da, da, da. Pretty plain on that side, but it says buttered, buttered beer, buttered beer. Okay, what have we got? I'm getting like a, a candle sense. I think it might be a candle. That is cute. 
That is cute. I feel like the label could be like, I don't know if bigger would be appropriate, maybe a touch bigger um, or wider. The label feels a little small, but the making of it, I have to touch. I have to touch things. It's gotta be a candle. It smells. Okay, now it's smelling more like butterbeer, like more like a drink and not like popcorn. <laughs> but there is a buttered smell to it. Like, oh my God. Okay, let me give you a close up and it's in a glass. So it is like a cup of butterbeer with like a foam on top. I really love it. I really love it. I think the only thing I would want changed would be the label is either different or like, um, uh, not metal. There are some, uh, kind of like metal, like made pieces on top. They're in the shape and, and all of that, but it's kind of on top. It doesn't, it's an additional piece that would have been interesting. Um, cause the sticker, is it a sticker? or it's just kind of on there. Anyway, I otherwise, I really like that it's the actual drink. Because when I first started thinking, oh, it's a candle, it would just be like a plain candle. But no, they actually went with the texture. Look at it. So you even have the kind of like bubbly look of a drink, but with the foam on top. Look at the foam on the side. And then there is the candle top. So it's just a one wick candle because it is small. It's very cute. I mean, the glass itself, the way it is cut, um, feels like uh, almost like a beer, like you would drink. I do not drink beer, but for a butter beer, I mean, mmm. I know smells very person to person, so I'm always curious how other people kind of like take to things. Okay. Third item, so we have butterbeer, we have every flavor beans and chocolate frogs. Next we have what feels like, this is one of the things that I was wanting. This box right here reminds me, so it says Lit Joy on the top here, microwave safe, dishwasher safe. It is a kitchen item. So here is this side. We are right in Honey Dukes here. Here is what I'm expecting. I bet this is a mug. LitJoy does mugs that I really like. I have two of them. Um, oh God, what do I have? I have Diagon Alley, love that one. That's my favorite. And then um, the Shrieking, Sh Shrieking Shack and just the whole scene with the seasonal change. Look it up, it's cute. Uh, but I love the shape of those mugs. And I was like, I would, like, I don't love when, when some of these subscription boxes just like keep doing some of the same thing over and over again, but a mug, I'm kind of fine with, but I have. I'm in the mug quarter, so I think that's what it is. I'm kind of, I would be surprised if it's not. So let's open it up and I'm gonna guess a Honey Duke's mug. Okay, it is a mug. It is a similar shape that they do. It's got the black trim on it, which they normally do. What do we got? What do we got? We have inside of Honey Duke's. So it literally is this outside here. Okay. I think I don't love it. I think I don't love it. Okay. I think a lot of people will. I'm missing the people. I want to see some of the people on here. So I think that's what I like is there's, I mean, with Diagon Alley, I think there were some people on there, um, some characters on there. I mean, there was obviously the dragon on there. Like there is a thing um, about like engaging and seeing like the eyeballs of somebody or seeing a person. Um, and I don't know, I would have kind of loved, I like, I like the color. I do tend to be sort of picky on mugs where it's just an image slapped on. Um, and one of the ones it is, oh, actually both of them are, but one of them blends in a little bit more. Um, but this one stands out a lot more about uh, as far as being on a white mug. But I feel like I would have been, I would have loved it more if the characters were on there. So say if it was, I'm obsessed with this clearly, but the scene with Harry taking the lollipop from Neville, um, you know, and some footprints or something. So you could have Honey Dukes and have just a transition. That's what I loved about the other two mugs. Maybe that's what it is, is that sort of transition in, in time, in story of things in movement and happening. Otherwise this is just like kind of the inside and just a scene. Um, just a shot on the inside. So I think I would have preferred that more to be honest. Okay, so that is item number four. So now we have straight up Honey Dukes and then we have the kind of three very obvious things um, food wise. Let's open this one up. So I feel like the feeling of it right now, I shouldn't be making that noise while I'm talking, <laughs> is 
I think it's like a utensil. It feels like a spoon. It's in a, is this gonna be like a, did Litchoy, is Litchoy the one that did um, the emotional range, Ron, Ron's emotional range? I think Litchoy did. So then I don't think they would do that again. Where it's engraved on the spoon. Let's open it up. This is feeling, okay, it's a spoon. It's feeling more like I'm like kind of putting some sugar in, like not a full size spoon. Really, we're really in the guessing mood here, okay? <laughs> what have we got? Okay. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like a sugar spoon. Um, oh wait, what does it say? Sugar. <laughs> I was right, is it a sugar spoon? So here is the spoon. It looks like so. So it is a feather on the end. That's pretty cute. And then I'm not sure if you can tell which direction does it say it. It says it in this direction, but it is engraved sugar on the spoon there. Would I use this? I think I actually would. I think I actually would. Um, I almost got the emotional range teaspoon because it's pretty cheap and I wasn't subs subscribed at the time. Um, but I think I actually would. And I do like the little velvet that I like. I like things I can feel. Okay, so we don't have much left. Um, we have these two boxes and because these two boxes are similar patterns, I'm guessing they go together. And this is the weight of the box right here. So what on earth could this be? Do we look at the small first or do we look at the big first? I feel like, let's look at the large thing first because I'm thinking this is like an attachment to what this is. What are you? Very colorful. It's got a snowflake. It, it, it's glass. Oh, wait. Is this what I, okay, wait, wait. I'm opening the small one now. Oh, okay. We've got kind of a pumpkin juice vibe. So it is a bottle with a snowflake on it. And then just kind of your standard bottle, not a lot going on to it, just a snowflake, you know, on the outside. It is glass. She is a heavy one. And then on top, mind the noise, is a pumpkin topper. Here, I'll show you the pumpkin topper first. Right, za. And then it goes like so. I think we've actually seen this bottle, hold on. I mean, my immediate thought with this, so the pumpkin is, you know, kind of pumpkin fizz, pumpkin juice, um, but the snowflake is very Yule Ball-y. And it just being glass, feels very Yule ball -y. It's an okay for me. It's an okay, I think, because it is a usable item and I could put things in there that add color. Um, I have mixed feelings, I have mixed feelings. Okay, anyway, all right. <laughs> and then we are to, hold on, the cheat sheet's over here. We are to the final two items. So one of the items, which I, I do like, um, is a air freshener. I will admit, I will admit, that's not, that's not a, thing, a, a, thing I need, a thing I need to admit, but I do not have a car. I do, I live without a car because we have uh, public transit here. So I get around on a scooter and my little feet and a broom occasionally. Um, but I think there are other places I can put this, but it is just an air freshener, but it is the Sherbert lemon. Sherbert lemon, I smell. Mm, I can't smell it through the thing. Oh, do we? Hold on, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna pull it out just yet, but let me show you. I do dig the design on this one. I like the shape. Um, I like the coloring. It is the same on both sides. So that was, let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. How many are there? 36, counted them myself. 36, but last year, last year I had 37. Yeah, yes, well, well, some of them are quite a bit bigger than last year. I don't care how big they are. Items. And then the final one is the card that they normally do. So, um, and we normally get to see the art for the card. So it's not really like anything um, surprising. Like we kind of know when this is coming. Okay, I think it is time for a recap and a little look at the cheat sheet, which I have here. I will say Litjoy's cheat sheets, let me take that out right now. <laughs> the noise are always cute. Um, and they just go all out on the design. So here is the front of the cheat sheet. 
I'm also looking on the back of the cheat sheet, which shows the herbology is the upcoming theme. And I will say, I'm pretty sure it's the wizarding trunk that is also doing herbology. And I think they might be similar timing. So let me know in the comments down below if you would be interested in a kind of comparison of the two. Um, if not, I could just do separate videos. Um, but a battle of the boxes. <laughs> Let's open it up. Let's take a peek at everything um over here and kind of look at everything and let's see like what our favorites are and were there any misses i think th looking at this i'm actually because i don't always keep every item in a subscription box i would actually keep the majority of these items starting with a favorite okay hold on we have pumpkin punch bottle which is here so check check and we have butterbeer candle right here <laughs> that was very fast and then the sugar quill spoon which look at that um that is a cute little reference and i didn't pick up on that right away if you don't remember a sugar quill is a candy and <laughs> we've seen it actually in um hogwarts legacy which my husband was pointing out looks a lot like rock candy and it's kind of more interesting than the sugar quills that we see kind of putting that together and checking the ref uh, and, and understanding the reference a bit more that they were doing a sugar quill like makes me love it even more and what's next okay sherbert lemon air freshener i think i've decided there's something on my shirt i think i've decided i'm gonna smell it because i don't have a card but i think there are places i could put it so you can't really mess up lemon smell right whoa that's lemon lemon always gives me like that is a strong lemon. It always gives me <laughs> um, like cleanings, like I'm cleaning house, you know? And and that's a strong lemon, not heavy on the sweet, but I wouldn't imagine, I mean, I don't think they're like super sweet, um, just a little bit. So that works. Jelly bean tin, right here. Uh, cocoa toad pouch, which is right here. And what else, homemade? homemade sweets mug <laughs> i like the kind of play on words there and then the add-ons which are over here there was um i forget what they called that one but i did not opt for either of the add-on keys they're right there in fact i didn't even show you the whole inside that is the inside of the cheat sheet pretty cool i love a good interactiveness so recap here favorite items what are we keeping what are we not anything amiss, anything amok. <laughs> I loved this. I will say, um, I did notice that it is chipped on the bottom and a bit sharp. So it's kind of like right on the inside. So I do not love that. And it didn't feel like broken. So I don't know. I might reach out to Lit Joy and just see what they have to say. I will also say um, on the sticker, like what I really appreciate about Lit Joy is they it's not a sticker on top, it's printed right on the glass. And I really like that. And so at first I thought it was a sticker. And then when I realized it's kind of printed right on there, um, it just ups the quality level a little bit more. And I really like that. So this is probably probably my top item. I just, I love a candle and I like that they actually gave it like the proper look and everything. And I wanted more spoons. Like I, I wanted a spoon, like at my muggle job. And for this to be like, a quill, um, a sugar quill. I love the play on a reference. And I like, okay, I do like this quite a lot. I mean, it's like straight from the movie, pretty much straight from the Yule Ball. Um, we will be doing a bit more Yule ball -y stuff. Uh, the only thing I would have adjusted, can you tell, is probably like a silicone piece around right here so that there's suction so that it actually works properly. But that's the other thing that I am digging about this is it's so many usable items. I really like a usable item. I like a thing that is pretty to look at, but I also get to use it like this. So I'll also dig this one. So I will be keeping them that as well. The only thing I would probably change about this is the color of the tin really reads more um, butterbeer to me, kind of a toffee color. Um, and like more popcorn-y. So I think I would have like punched up the yellow brighter because I, I mean, that's what I think of when I think of like, um, honeydukes and it, there's just so much color. So that's probably the only thing, but I would still keep that and add a good bit of color on the inside. And I, and I kind of do like that it's their own take on that. And 
this here, the, the, the miss for me on this one, because otherwise the quality is really good. Um, it is a usable item. It's cute. I love the chocolate frogs. It's more just that I'm not a clutch person and I would have liked to have um, kind of the, 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 the strap, <laughs> if you will. And, um, you know, maybe come with something to maybe come with a chocolate frog card um, because I wouldn't want my like random stuff seen. <laughs> um, but otherwise, like it does the job. It, it is kind of very specific to a market. So I don't think this is gonna reach everybody as far as being um, useful to everybody because I mean, not everybody uses a purse. So that is probably the, the comment I would say on that. And then the mug, um, really again, the miss for me on the mug is like, it is a bit pixelated and, but ultimately it just needed people. It really just needed some characters. And I feel like if there were characters, I mean, I would have loved that scene that I was talking about. Um, but if there were just characters like in Honey Dukes, just fill in the space here. It just, uh, there's, there's something about seeing people, seeing like the eyeballs. I mean, it's in, it's talked about in advertising and, and that sort of thing and how you connect in marketing. Um, it's engaging and it's why we love the story. It's not just the places, but it's the people, it's the interaction of both. So I would, I think if that were there, you know, golden, dig that. So, you know, it, it's not as many items as I was expecting, but the quality um, is there and the um, usability is there. So a lot of checking of the boxes. Um, on this one. So yeah, I actually am keeping quite a lot of these items. Let me know in the comments down below. Did you get this box? What were your thoughts on the box as a whole? What were your thoughts on the items? What was your favorite item? Or even if you didn't get the box, what was your favorite item? Um, and uh, yeah, and were there any that you would have liked to see? What any any sweets and treats that you would have liked to see in this box? Let me know in the comments down below. But until next time, remember, my magical friends, to love what you love with everything you have, <laughs> including all the sweets. And boy, am I going to go get myself a sweet and a treat after this. Um, and remember to keep making magic. And I'll see you next time. Bye.